at Optavia, our mission is to offer the world lifelong transformation one healthy habit at a time. The following audio contains the personal testimonials of independent coaches and clients within the Optavia community. Their results are based on the unique experiences of their journey. We cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. We hope these stories inspire you to continue your journey with or join Optavia, but please note they have not been verified and your individual journey to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you speak with a healthcare provider in the U.S. or a doctor in Singapore and Hong Kong prior to beginning your journey with Optavia. Additionally, this audio may contain income or earning representations of some independent Optavia coaches. We cannot guarantee financial success. Success with Optavia is derived from successful sales efforts, which required hard work, diligence, skill, persistence, competence, and leadership. Optavia acknowledges that this audio may be accessible to Optavia coaches in the U.S., Hong Kong, and Singapore. For independent Optavia coaches operating in the U.S., please see the Optavia Income Disclosure Statement for statistics on actual earnings of U.S. coaches under the U.S. Compensation Plan. Please note that the Income Disclosure Statement only applies to independent Optavia coaches operating in the U.S. under the U.S. Compensation Plan and does not in any way constitute any representations as to actual or potential accrual of benefits for Hong Kong or Singapore coaches under the International Compensation Plan. Yours in Health, the Optavia team. Hello, everybody. I'm Charlene Green. I'm so excited that you're here with us. We've got a power pack night lined up for you. And whether you're watching this, as I said, live on Zoom on the webinar, or maybe on our inaugural first time ever live stream on Facebook, um, maybe you're watching it in there, um, or maybe you're watching the recording. Um, coming to it later. I just want to welcome you in and I want to just have you get comfy um, for the next less than an hour. It's going to be a transformational night. And you know, the title, I want to actually share the screen with you guys and show you what our whole topic is tonight. You probably already heard the word. It's health and hope. And in the world today, the world that we're living in right now in the final quarter of this year, 2020, which has been a year beyond challenge, who is not looking to take their health forward in some way? I think the whole planet is. And who is not looking for some more hope? Um, and we've got that in buckets because we have ways to help you transform your life and just take it to a new level. And we're really going to be exploring that tonight. So um, this is a exciting time for us to have stories of success about people actually changing their lives. And I just want to share with you a little bit about the agenda so you know what to expect. You know, I loved in kindergarten, I remember my kindergarten teacher, she always had the little thing on the board that said, here's what we're doing first, and then we'll do this, and then we'll have recess, then we'll take a nap, then we'll have lunch. I like to know what's happening. And so I want to share with you guys kind of what's happening tonight. We're going to help you. This is how we're going to add value to your life to really shift your mindset. Um, we want to help you to awaken to the secrets of lifelong transformation. We've got them. You're actually going to meet the man here in a minute that designed our transformation system, which is revolutionary for people that dive into it. It will change your life. If you dive into it is my personal experience. The skill set, we're going to help you gain some new skills so that you can actually implement these. You're going to learn from people who have actually successfully created the results that they desired and how they did it. These are real people, real stories about their transformation journey. I love stories. I've always loved them. How about you? And then action. We're going to help you get into action with some simple steps. We're going to give you those simple steps at the end of this um, time together to move forward in your journey towards optimal health. Okay, so doesn't this sound great? We're so excited um, to do this. Now, before we dive in, I want to know who's in the house. So we're going to do a little poll. It's going to pop up here, which um, describes you. Which answer is it that you are? Are you an independent opt to be a coach? Are you a client or are you a guest tonight? So I just love for you to take a minute and take that poll. Um, we actually have some extra answers. I see it's popping up for me, so it's popping up for you. Are you a US independent opt to be a coach or a US opt to be a client? Are you a Hong Kong Singapore independent opt to be a coach or a Hong Kong Singapore opt to be a client or are you a guest? Guest, you get one category. We know you want to join us soon after you hear this. So that is our poll that we're going to kick this off with and they're going to gather the uh, results and we'll know those. Now I get to move along and I get to introduce you to Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson. He is the Val Victorian of his medical class. He trained in open heart surgery at Cleveland Clinic. He's the 10th board, board certified critical care physician. He's a surgical critical care director at Grandview in the past, which that's a big job, all of these things. He's the department chair of anesthesiology for 18 years prior to launching out to create what we're going to be learning about tonight. He's really an incredible person. 
He's a person that I personally um, have spent time with. I enjoy his company so much. He is all about serving mankind, bringing health and hope to the world in a sustainable way. And he's excellent at anything that he does. And that is my good friend, Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson. He's the co-founder um, and he's also an independent certified Optavia coach. He's written books. He's really quite incredible. So without further ado, I wanna bring on Dr. A. Awesome, Charlene, and thank you so much, and welcome world. We're gonna have a great time tonight and maybe expose you to something that you haven't thought about. I know you thought a lot about what's been happening to you over the last nine months, but really tonight we're gonna to talk about maybe thinking a different way, maybe feeling a different way, and maybe starting to act a different way, to give you some options moving forward, to kind of take you out, and as Charlene said, give you hope. It's a crazy time out there, and over the, gosh, the last nine months, wow, it's nine months, Wow, during those nine months, we've been so busy helping people that I, I didn't realize it's been nine months. That's, that's, that's kind of incredible. But the world certainly has changed. And with this pandemic and with the social unrest going on in the world, I think a lot of things are being exposed that most people have been holding on. And most people talk about when they're asked how they're doing, they say, well, I'm doing fine. So fine is you know, probably the worst four uh, letters word in the English language. So tonight we're going to talk about internationally, how first in the United States and, and now in the world, we've been building for almost two decades a mechanism to help people really change their lives. If we think now during the COVID and all the other things that are going on, most people are really living in uncertainty and fear. One of the things that has happened, which I just saw a couple, a couple weeks ago, was a survey came out that said, literally in 2018, two years ago, 33% of US citizens were happy. They just redid that survey and it's down to 11%. So that means almost 90% in the US alone, not even looking at what's going on in the world, are not happy. They're, they're basically feeling all these feelings of unrest. Their mental health is suffering. And uh, let's bring up this slide just to kind of show how bad it is, Charlene. Um, you know, if we look and see uh, people from the standpoint in the world, uh, worldwide obesity has tripled since 1975. Most of the world's population lives in countries where overweight and obesity kills more people than underweight. You know, years ago, I remember we were worried about people starving all over the world. So we asked food companies, the technology to build uh, food that was inexpensive so we could share it into underdeveloped countries. What we forgot to ask them is to make it healthy. And since that point, food technology is now spreading through ultra -proce processed foods, obesity throughout the world. That along with sedentary lifestyle and people sitting at desks, not getting out in a progression of stress has really changed everything. If we look in terms of just in the US, a third basically report that money is a major source of conflict in the relationships. Almost 70% of workers were stressed over their finances, 72% admitting to worry about their personal finances at work. And in 2020, rates of depression and anxiety in the US were more than triple than those of earlier in 2019. The simple question, how are you, has turned into an emotional minefield for people because people aren't doing well. So, you know, we kind of ask ourselves, what can we do? And, you know, obviously we want to prevent uh, social distancing and all the preventive measures, but what we haven't really done is address what are going to people do moving forward? The, you know, we talk about the new normal. There's nothing normal about the new. In fact, it's all about change. It's all about uncertainty. And most people are thinking, do I want to go back to what I was doing? Do, what am I going to do with that COVID-15 pounds I gained? What am I going to do in terms of just all this worry and I can't sleep well? Well, basically, you've come to the right uh, Zoom tonight because we're going to talk about a program that I got to start almost 20 years ago when I left critical care uh, as Charlene. I was, I was focusing on reacting to disease as is the medical care system. And now what I've done is move upstream and gather a like-minded group of people. And we're working together to create a community and a program that can move you forward, not only in terms of your physical and mental health, but also for those of you that tonight hear some things you like, learn about coaching, about how important coaching can be. And by becoming a coach, how it can change your life. So let's show the four components. So over time, I, I literally realized that we needed a guide. We needed someone to help us on the day. To do it alone just doesn't work. You know, everybody knows the New Year's resolutions that we try to do something grandiose and we try to go cold turkey on eating, on eating healthy 
or exercising. Usually those are the two that most people go to. They're either diet enthusiasts or exercise enthusiasts. But really, we're going to talk in a moment how it takes more than that. And most people going alone are not going to be successful. We needed a system or a blueprint. So basically, the Habits Health the Transformational System that Charlene mentioned, I'm going to spend a moment talking about, can make all the difference. We need an underlying structure change, and that's what our community, that's what you're gathering. You're going to hear from a whole bunch of people tonight that are part of our community. And then our feelings. Our feelings are basically designed to help people get healthy. So let me just spend a moment. You're going to see coaches tonight that m many of them simultaneously were clients or were clients and then became coaches. But what they found is a, is a way out, a way to have hope and direction. And, you know, Charlene was talking about skill sets. What we're going to do in baby steps is talk about how the coach will guide you and basically guide you to the transformational system. What, what we, I introduced this summer was this idea that transformational systems, human systems of transformation versus the technology that's done by machines. All you have to do is uh, look at Social Dilemma, a, a recent Netflix uh, special that came out. But basically, most of us are sleepwalking through life. And in essence, companies are using artificial intelligence that now tell us what to do and what we should think and how we should act, what we should eat, what we should think about, what our thoughts are. And all these things, if we aren't awakened to the possibility. So the first thing is that awakening. And that's kind of what tonight's about. It's about awakening you to the possibility that you can use this human transformational technology, this habits health transformational system. And just to give an example, here's the life book. And the life book, basically, you'll have a coach that comes with you. So if you start on our program and start losing, losing uh, weight and getting healthier, you'll follow 26 elements over the next year in baby steps to give you that blueprint to improve your health. Also, your coach will use a little coaching guide. So when you think, well, I don't know anything about nutrition, I don't know anything about a movement or exercise, well, you don't need to. As you decide to become a, from moving from a client to a coach, what happens is you become more vested. As you know, anytime you teach something, you get better at it. And what's great is we've made the system so simple that the individual clients and our patients actually will work on their health and their well-being over time. And as a coach, you'll basically guide them using this simple little guide. And together, that transformational technology will allow you in baby steps to start to learn the six macro habits that will help you create health. We focus on, on all six because they're necessary. First is weight management. As we know, 70% of us are overweight or obese. So because of that, basically, we need something strong. And we know this. We know that most people that go on a diet, they fail, and many of them even gain more weight than they had if they hadn't gone on a diet. So basically, weight management is more complicated than that, but we make it simple. The second is habits of healthy eating. We know that ultra-processed food isn't good for us, but we don't know how to really use a plate and use a, a color-coded system. So we're eating things that turn off our insulin and allow us to move out of a, a fat storage mode into a fat burning mode, and also habits of healthy motion. You know, most people just aren't avid exercise. Uh, uh, enthusiast. So we teach in baby steps how to walk more, how to start little bitty micro habits that allow you to start regaining your physiology that's necessary for long-term optimal health. Moving along, nothing more important than your sleep. And most people think sleep is a luxury, but sleep and energy management are cre cre very important aspects of every day in our lives. Then healthy mind, and we're going to talk about this and actually kind of have you do a little evaluation in a minute here about your mind. How healthy is your mind? And do you have the mechanisms to now build emotional agility, which are so key for long-term success? And then basically uh, our environment, our surroundings are so key. And we can make small little changes. Like people say, where do you get willpower? You get willpower at the grocery store. You choose the right things. You don't take them home because if they're home, they're in your refrigerator or in your cupboard, you're more likely to use them. So we're in baby steps. We'll teach you all those things and your coach will work with you to make those a reality. And the big one is our community. We know if we change the underlying structure, we can change everything. So we're going to bring you part in, as, as Sean was talking about, mindset. Mindset's everything. Most people are problem solving and they're reacting to what's wrong in their life. What we're going to do is help you change your orientation to now start to dream and vision your future in terms of your health, your well-being, and put you in position and your finances, if that is one of the things you're, you're worried about or interested uh, in, and show you how to lead from that future, and then what can inform you today to help you move forward in a positive direction. So let's go to the next slide, Sharon, because I really want to 
give everybody an opportunity uh, to kind of think about this moment. This is the trilogy wheel. When I very first started, I realized, you know, as a physician, I was focused on physical health because that's what we do as doctors. We react to disease. But what, what I found was that it was more than just the physical health. It was also our, our healthy mind and healthy finances, our career. The Well-Being, uh, basically, which is a book written uh, by the Gallup Poll uh, Group, and they evaluated and looked at what was most important in creating well-being. And what we fill our days with, what we do for a living, is two times more important than anything else in terms of our overall being. So I'd love everybody, if you look at this, this is really set up fairly simple. At the lowest score you can have is a zero or a one. On here, you see twos is the first one, but a zero or one would be way on the outside. And as you move in, you move towards a perfect 10. And if you think about it, it'd be great for you. Just off the cuff, just take a second, take a piece of paper and write down, in terms of healthy body, you know, healthy weight, eating, sleep, your physical activity, relaxation, and your environment, your work and home environment, uh, where are you on a scale of one to 10? And so kind of put a, put a little dot there, you know, in that circle where you are, you know, 10 being the optimal and one being uh, fully non-optimal. And then also about your healthy mind. You know, do you have time for your spiritual time, for community involvement, for hobbies and fun? How about strong relationships with the people you, that you surround yourself with? And basically, are you engaged at work? Do you like what you do? And then, of course, do you feel that feeling of fulfillment that you're creating something, involved in something that brings meaning and purpose to your life? And then basically, let's move over to the healthy finance side. You know, how about your community contributions, your money management, your freedom to be able to do the things you want and the time to enjoy those? How about saving for the future and having the mentality where you can help give back to others because you have the resources to do that. So if you look at that, what we're looking for in, in Optavia is the opportunity to start moving you more towards the center. The center, the sweet spot where you have meaning and purpose. And I can tell you, starting with this, you know, as a client and then moving forward as a coach, we, we really talk about a concept called predictable transformation. And what that means is we know this. We know that if you take this book as a client and even as a coach, because our coaches use this as well, and you start on this and go through the 26 elements and really learn the new habits, you're going to be learning habits that will help you now change your orientation, create a healthier and, and more well-being, and put you on a trajectory to be able to become a higher version of ourselves. And what I can tell you about that, you know, being here since the beginning and watching the incredible transformations, the lifelong transformations that we're creating. I've never been part of anything as rewarding for myself and something I want to do for the rest of my days. People, you know, I have physicians uh, that, that uh, know me from when we were in practice together. You know, I get a chance to see them sometimes. And, you know, if, if you think about the movie, the Indiana Jones movies, uh, about about uh, the, the, the uh, eating, drinking from the chalice and the guy drank from the chalice and Look, you know, he basically turned into a skeleton and fell to dust. That's how my partners are. And they, they are counting the days as are many so they can retire to get out of this craziness. And I can tell you that I've never been more engaged, never wanted to be part of this more. And I'm so excited because we're building an incredible organization as our company and our field organization and our leadership evolves. And leaders like Charlene uh, have come in and they're, they're taking the mantle and moving forward. And we're creating a world. So, you know, when Charlene was asking, where are you from? We, our goal is to become the leading uh, mission for change in the world. And it starts with us individually changing and then collectively doing that together. And so tonight you're going to hear some amazing stories about people that have raised their hand, decided to go with us, and are now changing their own health, their own well-being, and then the well-being of others, their communities in, in, in the United States, and as we move out, eventually the world. So we're all about it. Charlene, back to you. Well, Dr. A, thank you so much. And you guys, I am so inspired sitting here just listening to the passion from Dr. A about what we're doing. He mentioned that we want to become the leader in change in our world. And actually, that made me think of our title is Agents of Transformation. And it starts with ourselves. And then it ripples out. And people say, I want what you're having. What is that? And you know, we don't need to really advertise um, all over the world because we are the advertisement. We walk in a room, people say, what's going on with you? And we're gonna hear about that now. I'm gonna actually um, move on down the road. So thank you so much, Dr. Ray, for coming tonight. Being with us. I know you're gonna love these stories because as you began your mission to come out and really help people change their life, these stories, all of us that are sharing tonight, that's us. 
we changed because of all that you did, Dr. A, to put this together, and then we're just carrying that torch forward. And Thanks, I'm really guys. Oh, yes, Dr. A, please come back. Okay, never mind. Don't come back. <laughs> or I can come back. I can come back. You want me to come back? I'm back. Well, I thought you were going to say something else. I, I, well, well, I was just going to say for everybody, you know, it really comes to the decision. We talk about water boiling when it gets, you know, a little over uh, 212 degrees. Until then, it's just hot water. And it's about, oh, I could do this or I should do this. But you can decide and actually do it. When you move over, you know, steam is, is water, hot water turns into steam. It changes everything. And for everybody on the line tonight, know this. As I look back, because I get to see here, you know, all the stories you're going to hear in a minute, I've been hearing them for 20 years. And it doesn't matter where you start. It's basically you stick with this, everything in your life can change. And it's about organizing your life around what matters most to you, the viewer tonight. We're not going to tell you what to do. We're simply going to assist you to realize what's most important to you and put you on a path to better health and well-being and to potentially join this mission because we need a lot more people if we're going to change the world. God bless, guys. Oh, gosh. Thank you, Doctor. I'm really glad you came back. So this set me up perfectly because the friends I'm going to bring on um, I've known for um, 20 years. We actually had a babysitting club when our little babies were babies, you know, because you don't really notice if there's more kids at your house when you already have kids. And so we drop you know, our kids off to each other's house and have your night for the babysitting club. And then you got to go and have a date with your spouse. And now Jake, who used to be in part of that when he was two, is 22 years old, actually 23. He just turned 23. Can't keep up. And this couple, they're dear to my heart. Um, I have wanted to just help them move their health to a new level, um, watching them and just loving them always. And during the middle of COVID, in the middle of April, when everything was just crazy, they connected and we connected and the magic happened and they started their own transformation journey. Their hearts are for people. They always have been. And they definitely are right there at 212 degrees. They are hot. So I'm going to bring them on. I know they got to unmute themselves so we can hear them. And that's Marshall and Leslie Snyder, my good friends. So would you guys share about your transformation with us? Hey, everybody. Hi. Thank you, Charlene. And thank you to Dr. A and the team there at Optavia for this phenomenal transformational system that for us, for people who have been involved with um, shaping people, we have a, a nonprofit that we started 20 years ago that is really all about developing people and journeying with people to wholeness. Um, I can't even tell you how this has challenged us and changed us and kind of positioned us. And we're influencing uh, many, many people uh, with this journey, but with all of the things that we're learning and are being impacted by, we are, we're just passing those things on and sharing them with others. And so um, it's, it's rippling out and we're excited to be a part. Um, but I wanted to share a little bit of our story to start with and then Marshall will share in a little bit too about our own um, transformation, especially concerning our healthy body because I think what happens when you, um, for me, when, when I spend myself serving humanity, um, there's a piece of me that that didn't take care of mm -hmm. this part. So true. Um, yeah. And we were never like, you would never look at us and think that we were morbidly obese. <laughs> you would just go, oh, honey, look at that. Wow. <laughs> I love that picture. But we were just kind of in a neutral mode and doing our thing. And, um, and then COVID hit, right? COVID hit. And totally. like everybody else, probably in America, we settled in and we uh, made bread, right? Lots of bread. Um, Marshall bought me yeast for Mother's Day. That's how dedicated we were. <laughs> so <laughs> we made bread, we drank wine, we ate cheese, and we watched The Office, like the whole thing, <laughs> the whole thing. And we settled in for the long uh, COVID break. And um, it didn't look good, like when we kind of- Well, you can see that. Well, <laughs> when we kind of came around, we didn't feel good. We didn't look good in seriousness. Uh, what it was doing was illustrating that in all of the transformational training that we give to other people, there was a block. And it started with our physical being. And so I, um, 
we called Charlene, we brought her up and she began to awaken us over dinner one night, which I can't even tell you how grateful I am for that meeting, Charlene. Thank you so much for taking the time with us and just beginning to open our mind and allow us to picture what our life could look like. We were already just starting our 50s. Our last child um, just got, got his own place and moved out. And so we were already looking at reinventing ourselves and what could that look like. But never in our wildest dreams did we think that it would start with a physical transformation. So I couldn't get my pants on. Um, Marshall had some bad reports from a doctor's visit and we, um, we decided to just jump all in. And as um, our coach says, put your heart all the way over the line and just jump in and start. And also what I'd love to let people know is that you set the goal for what you can see. Just set the goal for what you can see. It doesn't have to be an ideal, it's just what you can see. And then as you begin your journey and start walking toward it, and you're addressing your physical self, your mind activates. And then you can reevaluate and relook at what is ahead for you. So I just want to encourage you, if you're sitting on the fence, like just start where you are, set a goal for what you see, just know that life is going to change. So be ready and um, allow yourself to be awakened and begin to to dream and then I'll turn it over to Marshall and he can share his own little transformational story. Thanks for letting me share and having half this time. <laughs> She's awesome. I, I, I love to listen to you talk, listen to Thanks. your transformation and watch what is going on in your world. I love it. Can we just listen to her? We'll just all listen to her. Go ahead. <laughs> um, you know, it's interesting because I, I was thinking of this Richard War quote um, that said, you know, you spend the first half of your life writing the story, and then the second half of your life commenting on it. And I think that's where Leslie and I have come to in our lives is that second half. We're going into that second half, and we're evaluating where are we going to be at that. And I remember my dad's second half of life was really not a tremendous second half, and it was kind of the motivation for me because I had to go identify his body uh, when he passed away in the front seat of his Jeep. And he was at 67 years old. And I started doing the math on that. And I'm 55, or not 55, I'm 52. And I'm thinking, that's not very far away from me. And uh, my dad just made some unhealthy decisions. And I saw my health kind of going down that track. And I needed to make some decisions to help that. But I also, I also wanted to coach. I'm a, my, my past, I have a master's degree in you know, leadership studies and have been developing human beings for 30 years and all kinds of different ways. But it necessarily wasn't transitioning into my health. I had a lot of mind stuff maybe, but, not but had some, some missing components to it. So I remember calling Charlene up and having her because I wanted to coach this thing that she was doing. So I sat down with her and her and I got in this great big argument, which was awesome. My wife left because she was mad because she couldn't get her pants on. And, and I was like wanting to figure out what this thing was because I wanted a health and wellness program for my uh, coaching gig. Right. And more than that, I signed up and I got on, I got on the program and that's what we hear all the time. I got on program and immediately began to see this change. And I saw a change in my life. I saw a change in my heart. I saw a change in my head. And I started um, just seeing things differently. And I just wanna, I just wanna say that because I, you know, I got, I got a, a, a doctor's report here recently that was just really good. And I was really pleased with what happened. And our doctor just flat out said, keep doing what you're doing. That's what he, that's what he said, just keep doing what you're doing. And um, it was an amazing, it's been an amazing transformation. It continues to be an amazing transformation for me. And uh, we're seeing uh, great results in our life and in our focus and in our future. And we're excited about that and, and challenge others to say, hey, step up and see, see what can happen for you. It is, like Leslie said, it's a picture in your mind of where you want to be. And then you step. You can't listen to the voices inside that tell you can't do something because you know what? You're unlimited based upon how you think about yourself. So thank you so much for the opportunity to share. And uh, it's been great to be here. And thank you, Charlene, for being in our life. We love you. Appreciate you. Oh, you guys, I love you too. And um, I don't know if I got in an argument, Marshall. I think that I just called your bluff is all that happened. <laughs> <laughs> so I love it. And I love the authenticity of people's transformation. Can't fake that. You know, you can't fake what happens when somebody um, looks different, when they 
think different, when they show up different, when things change in their life. And Marshall and Leslie were talking about really what Dr. Ray mentioned was um, you know, taking control of your physical health. And that really happens with our fuel plan. You know, he talked about nutrition and hydration, um, you know, getting ourselves to a healthy BMI. That's something that, you know, you'll see a lot in the tools that we coach. And I think that's really important. Um, and before I really talk about that a little bit, I just want to kind of wrap up with Marshall and Leslie and say, what's so exciting is as they decided to become coaches and share this with other people, because like Marshall said, that's really what he was interested in. And, and Leslie was interested in getting her jeans on after all that bread. And together, um, they are better together. And the community coming into that has just revolutionized so many parts of their life too. And we'll talk about community a little more as we go down the road. But you know, who doesn't want to hang out with people like that? <laughs> Leslie's right in the middle of that picture, smack dab in the middle. And great things happen when you start to take charge of your health because your life can actually change. So they were talking about this amazing optimal five in one plan. And we have several different fuel plans depending on your health needs. Um, and I love that we get to authentically talk to people and find out where they are. Like Dr. Ray said, what they desire to accomplish, um, what their desire is, how they want to organize their life next. But usually healthy body is an entry point for a lot of people. Not all people that join us, they might want another piece of our program, like just jumping in as a health coach. But if the body's not healthy, that's usually where we start because that's a pretty big pain point. And that's a big pain point in our country from the statistics that Dr. A showed. You saw those statistics earlier. So the five in one plan is the most popular plan. Most people do go on this after they talk with their health coach to see which one's right. This is usually the one that most people utilize. I'd say most popular. And it's so simple because it's step one, two, three. Step one, choose five convenient meals. We call them fuelings, um, Optavia fuelings to use during the day. Open and eat, grab and go. It's goof proof. You can't mess that up. I don't have to make all five of those meals. I just have to have them and open them. It's like a little chef coming to my door. Number two, prepare one meal a day yourself. That's your lean and green meal. This is an absolute cornerstone for your future longevity of your health because you're learning what a lean and green is. You're preparing it. You're making that specific. And then you'll be able to eat out at restaurants and find those things. And this is where the lifestyle change begins. And then number three, use the habits of health clock. See, this is actually a clock. Do you see 24? It's 24 hours in the day. Use that clock to fuel your body. And I love this so much because you guys can see in here, the darkest time is the sleep time. Dr. I mentioned that. That first morning hour and that last hour in the evening, those are, are critical hours for how your sleep's going to be and how your day is going to go. So we're going to teach you how to do this and we're going to help you build little micro habits so you can create lasting, sustainable change. And that's what it's about. And you guys, I'm so excited because now we're going to go from Oregon, where Marshall and Leslie lived. I'm in Arizona in Scottsdale and Dr. Ray's in Maryland. See how we can hop all over the world. This is how we've been doing this for the last six years I've been coaching. And we're going to hop all the way over to the big island of Hawaii. And this um, person who's going to share is our good friend, Travis Correa. And he's representing him and his wife, Sonia. And Travis is someone I didn't know because the ripple effect goes far beyond people that you know. It can start with people in your world because they're noticing first. But I didn't know Travis and I didn't know Sonia and getting to know them has been one of the greatest privileges. I love our community and how it keeps evolving. And I love that many people are joining us on the mission to take this health and hope to the world. We need a lot of coaches in order to reach all the people that are searching for more meaning in their life and for better um, health in their life. And Travis has taken this to a whole new level. He has transitioned out of weight loss, you'll see, and into moving towards ultra health. I can't wait to show the pictures to you guys. But really, I can't wait to hear his story. So Travis, will you come on and share with us, my good friend? All right, I'm here, Charlene. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you, Dr. Anderson. You know, thank you to the Optavio Ohana um, for just uh, this opportunity to share. So I don't want to take up too much of you guys' time. Um, you know, so aloha, everybody. Uh, my name is Travis Kerr, and I'm so thankful to be with all of you guys tonight and to share my story. And to talk about how Optavia has changed my life, you know, I'm a son, I'm a, I'm a husband, I'm a father, I'm a friend, I'm a believer. And just to paint a quick picture of, um, you know, who I am and where I come from, um, honestly, I'm just a local boy from Keala Kekua, uh here on Hawaii Island. Uh, that's me. I speak pidgin. If you don't know what that is, Google it. Um, if you, you know, I basically speak some Olelo Hawaii, which is Hawaiian language. Um, you know, I love my culture. I love my lifestyle. And here in Hawaii, uh, we are blessed uh, with the oceans, the mountains, the warm weather, and, you know, just the abundance all around. We have everything that we need here. 
um, because our lands and our oceans provide everything that we need. Our lives are here. You know, we're, we're good. You know, and for most of us, we have the same sequence of life. We grow up, we go to school, we graduate from high school, go to college, get a job, start a family. Then we work towards retirement. It's pretty much wash, rinse, and repeat for everybody here. Um, I mean, I might, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, and I found myself in that same zone. Um, and I grew up in a great household, though. You know, I have great, ama I have amazing parents. And I did everything my parents told me to do. I went to college, got my master's degree in education. Um, I actually failed my practice test 10 times, fam. What the, you know what I mean? And, but, but for the last 10 years, you guys, um, you know, I dedicated my life um, to my community and to the youth of Hawaii because they're our future. And I love being a part of our community and the youth of Hawaii because that's just the circle of life, you know? And being a, a high school football teacher and a history teacher, I was able to impact our children and our teens on a daily basis from all walks of life. And that's my passion. That was my passion. It still is my passion. And that's why I'm a huge believer in the community and how we always need to give back. You know, this was instilled by my papa before he passed to, to give freely and never expect anything in return. Um, and that's how I live my life. And of course, you know, there's nothing wrong with continue to just put yourself and give your power to everybody else. But there was something missing in this equation in my life. And I didn't know what that was, um, you know, but I know one thing was missing and that was time. Time with my little ones, especially my daughter, um, and Charlene, if you want to pull up that screen, um, I'm going to get a little emotional, guys, because it's just, it's just a big time. Um, you know, basically, you know, there she is when I was grading papers. And, um, you know, this was a nightly occurrence. And this is all the time I had with her. And every morning she would cry for me to stay home. And basically, that, Dad, where are you going? And every day it was a constant battle for me to leave. Um, because it was hard just hearing her cry as I go out the driveway. And I was, I, I had to work. I had to provide for my family and it ate me inside every day because I knew I was exchanging my time for my money. And I wasn't about that, you know, I'm not about that. I need time. And that really shook my mindset on a daily basis. Um, but I had no out. Um, but just as I'm a huge believer in community, I'm a huge believer in mindset, sorry. And that's something that I wanna focus on today because two and a half years ago, I wasn't really in a good shape. I was, I was not in good shape, physically, mentally. And, you know, everything looked great on the outside, but I was not in great shape. And if you look at the slide, I wasn't solid. I wasn't cherry, you know, as you say. So, it's, you kind of laugh about that. But I was overweight because of the excuses that life was happening to me. I was a victim of my circumstances. I blamed everything and everyone else be, but myself about what was going on. You know, I was constantly stressed out by so many things that I had going on with others that I couldn't even find time to focus on my family and most importantly, myself. But on February 13th, 2018, my life changed. My wife signed me up as her first client and we started Optavia, the journey, and the rest was history. And I can honestly say in that, in that beginning, I was solely focused on physical transformation, not knowing that it was my mindset that was going to be through the installation of healthy habits that was going to really transform me from the inside and out in the process. You know, I fought with myself on a daily basis on basically going back to my old ways. I wanted the things that I used to have, a beverage, you know, all those things. But I always told myself that didn't serve me. So I kept pushing on, working on me daily. I plugged into the four components that Dr. Anderson spoke about today. Health coach, community, habits of health book, the fuelings, and every single Wednesday night call. My wife would text me every day, every Wednesday and say, make sure you get on that call now. And I was just like, ah, but I would do it. The four components helped me push through and I had the tools for transformation. And I had huge wise family. I had, and they, that keep me, kept me motivated throughout this process. Ultimately, Everything kept happening in perfect timing because the game changer really came last year, um, a year ago with the introduction of the transformation system and the life book from the doctor. So Dr. A. Mahalo Nui for that. Once I got a hold of that life book, I told myself that if I want to take my health to the next level, I got to integrate myself in this thing. And I did. And I still am. And actually, I finished my second round just yesterday of the life book from being clear on my why all the way to the element of 26 ultra health living longer full out I believe and this book is so powerful because every page reveals something to me on a daily basis family I finished element 16 yesterday regarding ultra health and I loved it I was just like pumped because that's where I'm heading that's where I'm going 
and I know that's where I'm going to, where I'm going to get there because I've had the tools to take me to the next level. I have that transformational system. And so it's truly taking back my power. I became the dominant force in my life on a daily basis by realizing that everything is happening for me and not to me. This program isn't just about the fuels. It certainly isn't a diet. It's a way of life. It's a way of freedom. And speaking of freedom, a little over a year ago, I was able to come home from my full-time teaching job because my wife's determination, first and foremost, every day asking me to come home and our desire um, to help people get healthy in our community. And let me tell you, fam, life has never been so amazing and fulfilling. I have more time with my children. And ultimately, you know the saying, happy wife, happy life. So today, I challenge every single one of you guys to be clear and really look deep with inside of yourself and ask the question, am I really living my best life? Am I settling for the life that isn't fulfilling? Am I happy? Am I in the right space? Always remember that if you want to do something great, buckle up, fam. You got to have, you got to do something great. If you want to do something great, you got to do something you've never done before. You have to give up the good for the great. Healthy mindset starts with a decision. So stop putting yourself in a box and making excuses that you can't and you shouldn't. Start saying yes to your life. Say yes to your life today. It doesn't matter what kind of past you had. Your past is a place of reference, not a place of residency. You can change the past. You, can, you can't change your past, but you can change your future. So make your future today. You have a daily decision to put on your gloves and contend for your health every day. You have the opportunity to chase better, be better, to choose freedom rather than bondage in your, and it starts right here, right now. Think about it. You just got to believe. You got to believe in you. Stop thinking about the things that are impossible and start thinking about, I'm possible. You know, think about those things. Everything starts with you. Upstairs, healthy mindset. Know that when you have something bad in your life, you can't count the cost. It's about value. You got to go all in knowing that you don't count costs. You will, you will do whatever it takes to get what you want because in reality, if you were dying today and it was your last day on earth, you would give up everything just for one more opportunity, one more day of life, one more smile and kiss with your wife, one more hug from your kids, one more opportunity to say, I love you. I'm sorry for whatever we've been through. I'm going to make it better. I love you one more time after that. And we only get one life, man. And through the inspiration of desperation, you'll do whatever it takes. And I know that I'm a better husband, a father, a son, a friend, a man, because I got healthy in my mind, my body, my finances. And now I realize on a daily basis that I'm the dominant force in my life. And I can create the life that I want and make, a, make the decision to go all in and change my stars for the better. And you can too. So be bold today. It's a daily commitment, family through effort and small choices and healthy habits that will create abundance in your life. What do you have to lose? You have nothing to lose. And most importantly, what do you have to gain by making the best decision of taking your life back one day at a time, one healthy habit at a time. So mahalo nui, Dr. A. Thanks, Charlene, leadership. Lynn, Camby, I love you so much. Our partners, and most importantly, my wife, Sonia, I love you. I love you guys, I love off the video. Aloha. Whoa, Travis. Oh my gosh. I feel like I just came out of a locker room halftime. Major inspirational speech to get out there and kill it. That was amazing. I was crying. I was laughing. Let's hear some love in the chat for both Marshall and Leslie and all of the goodness of transformation and Travis, who just really lit fire. If you need some rocket fuel, can you imagine if Travis is your coach? Man, I bet you really bump up your clients, Travis. I love it so much. And you guys, I just love that in Optavia, we attract amazing people. They want to be part of us and we want to be part of their journey. We want to be part of all of your journey to create the best health and become the dominant force in your life. That's actually on the front of the life book that Travis was just talking about. So let's dive back in. Got some more great stuff to share and one more story. And the smiles tell the story, right? I love it. I love Travis and Sonia. I love Sonia. I love Travis. Um, I love being partners with such great people. So guys, I want you to see this transformation system. Dr. A was talking about it. Here he is on the cover of our amazing Habits of Health um, book. 
The life book is what we guide our clients through. Uh, the app is what they can use on their phone and it just keeps getting better and better. And then his website, habitsofhealth.com. This is the transformation system. And we just love that this can create lasting change. Did you hear Travis talking about how actually um, it's not just feelings that we're eating? Um, you know, we're, we're not selling, we're not telling, we're sharing, we're connecting authentically and we're guiding people to their best health. And it's not from just one thing. It's from all of those four components. You're seeing them living out. This is like in living color. You're seeing this live out. Isn't it awesome? So I hope you're feeling some more hope tonight for what's possible for you. And I hope you're enjoying being a part of our community. You know, our community is so powerful. Are you feeling that? You know, um, if you wanna go fast, go alone. If you wanna go far, go together. That's the power of the community. When you're doing great, share, inspire others. When you're not doing great, share, and others will inspire you better together. So the community is, has so many ways to connect you, virtual community events, habits of health community times, nutrition support team that's incredible to support us and our clients. Client support pages where we interact and talk. It's virtual, but that's okay. Opt to be a Facebook page. And it doesn't say on here, but I know that coaches gather together with clients and we're heading back to Oregon to do that this next or this coming weekend. There's so many ways to connect to our opt to be a community and have this power. And I love what we're doing right now because this, my friends, is a community event. So let's pause. Let's take a poll. Now, if you're on the Facebook Live, I, I didn't mention this earlier, you are not able to take the poll because it's only via the Zoom um, actual live webinar. But if you're on the Facebook and this poll pops up, go ahead and put something in your Facebook comments. It will show up there. So this is actually, um, how often do you connect with your coach? And we wanna know. And I think we're gonna share the, the results of this poll, I do believe, tonight before we go. So is it one to two times a week, every other week, one to two times a month, as needed? I am a guest and excited to learn more about what that whole thing looks like. You know, I want to point out that the coaching for you as a client is not charged to you. The company pays us to do that. So, you know, we are free to you um, and that service is amazing. So I'm excited to see what the results are for this poll. How often do you typically connect with your coach? And I know that when we stay connected, um, it's an accountability piece built in. Not that they're holding you accountable, you're getting that accountability. It creates that desire to um, know, like if you're going back to see the doctor in 10 days, you want to do the stuff. If you're seeing a personal trainer, you want to do the stuff. It helps you to really actually get motivated. So I want to say that as you're on your journey, I've already mentioned this, people are going to notice. I'll have what she's having. Yes, please. I want that. Um, and when people begin to ask you about your transformation as a client, um, people that are watching as guests, as you change, um, you have two options. Refer them to your coach. That means actually set up a way for them to meet each other virtually, right? Um, like at a party. Hi, so-and-so. This is my friend, Sally. And um, Charlene, this is Sally. And she wants to know more about this, what I'm doing. Actually start a text message, start a Facebook message, um, set up a three-way phone call, introduce them so it's not weird. Don't just say, um, you know, here's her number, here's his number. They might not actually ever call because they don't know you, speed of trust, but you can connect them. But I think way better is just pay it forward. Grab a coach kit, jump in. We'll show you how to start your journey as a coach. Just like we show clients how to get started on their journey as a client. We have an amazing model I'll talk about in a minute and pay it forward as a health coach. That's what Lee and I decided to do when we got started. So there's several different ways that you can begin. And I do want to say, um, oh, the polls are in before we go on. The polls are in, the answers are in. How often do you typically connect with your coach? Hey, 70% are doing it one to two times a week. Awesome. And did you notice it doesn't say how often does your coach connect with you? It says how often do you typically connect with your coach? I love that. So I want to see a lot more people connecting more with their coach. This is powerful stuff. Let's make sure I didn't miss a slide here. Yep, I didn't. Okay, so here we are. Benefits of becoming an opt to be a coach. Let's kind of look through these. Well, there's a lot. You get to reinforce your decision to be healthy. I know I'm healthier as a coach because I'm actually absolutely um, on my path to being healthy. I know that I get to pay it forward and make a difference. It feels good. And I wanna go back to reinforcing your decision. Whatever you're talking about is what you're thinking about. And I'm thinking about health as I'm talking with my clients, as I'm guiding them. So I'm thinking about that for myself and then feeling so good from paying it forward. It is fun, can you tell? It is rewarding in so many ways, like compensation. You know, I love that we get paid to coach and that that's there if you wanna take advantage of that. Check it out. The currency of goodwill, that might not be cash in your hand, but that's the cash in your heart. 
that's actually that feeling of knowing that you're making a difference. Lee, my husband, we coach together. You'll see a picture of him in a minute. And you know, he's more of a thinker and he's not like really an emotional person. And he started coaching and he said, I can't believe how good I feel when people tell me what a difference we're making in their life. That's the currency of goodwill. And then to fulfill financial needs and goals you have, that's that, that cash that we're talking about that's available for you. Um, many ways that we're compensated and to leave a legacy. To leave a legacy to know that you helped people improve their lives. Like for me to know that I had any part in Travis and Sonia's transformation for him to be with his daughter, um, so incredible. All right, so so many benefits and there's even more that you will find as you explore this. So this is time for our final story. And guess what? It's me. <laughs> and this is really where I want to touch on really the benefits of coaching in my own life. And I want to share a little bit about my story. You guys can see that I changed. Um, same smile, like, but much bigger in the second picture. This, this second picture was just in um, December when I was in Singapore helping to open our international launch there for Optivia in Singapore. And I just know that what's happened in my life, it's hard to put into words. You know, I was overweight, overtired, and um, successful, but not fulfilled. And nor did I feel like I was expressing my actual true potential of what I felt was possible when um, Optivia came along into my life. And so many things happened for me. I went to an event and I found out about Optivia while I was the guest speaker um, at a Women's Chambers of Commerce event. So events are powerful. This event tonight could be transformational and life-changing for you. And I really hope that it is, whether you're a coach, a client, or a guest. But, you know, events are where we discover something new. You know, I thought when I started Optivia, I was looking for maybe a smaller clothing size. You know, I thought, I think I told my coach, I need to lose 20 pounds. Turned out to be more <laughs> because I wasn't actually present in my life. And what I found as I went on this Optivia journey, um, and I really dove into all the parts of it, was I found that I was having an awakening, a new way of actually living my life. I was actually starting to come into my life. Like, you know, this is your life, Charlene. I started living in my life. And it really empowered me to what Dr. Ray said is my love phrase, rearrange my life around what mattered most to me. And um, it was incredible as I just started my own journey and then letting that ripple out to other people. And I wanna show you guys on here, what matters most to me is my family. And I had a long journey before Lee and I met and got married, we were both divorced for a long time. And I was raising my children pretty much on my own, Jake and Monique are here. And then Lee has a son, Brad is 29, he's not in this picture. But I brought this picture up because I wanted you guys to see that our children and my children in particular, I actually really um, missed a lot of moments in their life. You know, Travis put up his little one and a half year old picture, his picture of his one and a half year old daughter, I meant to say. Um, it's not a one and a half year old picture, it's his daughter when she was one and a half. And he didn't, he realized he didn't want to miss those moments. And I missed those moments in my life. And I can't really blame it on a career. I always worked for myself as an entrepreneur. But what I know is that um, I didn't know how to be present. I was under a lot of pressure as a single parent for a lot of years, um, making sure I was there, wanting to be there for my kids and give them the things that they needed and pay my mortgage and, you know, different things. I was very successful. I was in the top of my field, the top 1.5% of the field that I was in. I didn't think I was going to maybe change a career. That's what I was doing um, prior to Optivia. And I didn't actually think that I was going to coach. It was actually Lee that said, hey, I want to grab a coach kit. And I said, well, um, you don't really talk to people, honey. He goes, well, I don't think you really have to talk to them. Um, I'm going to watch videos and send them videos. And then when he found out we needed to talk to people, he's like, well, you're the talker, honey. I'll make sure all the behind the scenes stuff are done. And our life just started to really look different. And I love that we get to help people transform. And whether it's the healthy body that you saw that um, trilogy wheel earlier, the healthy mind, um, or the healthy finances, wherever that is that you're looking. When I scored myself, my healthy body, I was failing in my healthy body. And I actually thought I was healthy. I was out of touch with my current reality. And my healthy mind was actually, I felt like it was good, but I was not being able to be um, arranging my life around what mattered most because my mind wasn't healthy with consciousness. And then my healthy finances were good, but who wants good when you could have great in life, like Travis said. So we really dove in and um, we really changed things up a lot and our lives really unfolded. 
And so many people's lives have changed and it feels so great. I feel like all those benefits of coaching we've had and so much more and being present to the ones that you love um, is something that is timeless. It doesn't matter if they're little or if they're older. I just have to stop my share so you can see my face when I tell you this. You know when the day your kids need you to show up the very most in their life, when you, you know when that day is? It's today. And I remember I was reading that in a book and it was at the bottom of the page. Do you know the day when your kids need you to show up the very most in your, in their life? And I'm like, oh my God, when did I miss it? And I turned the page and it said in big letters today. I thought, oh, perfect. I'm right on track. And today is the day to make a change wherever that is for you and to make a decision. And as we journeyed along, you guys can see here, there's a ribbon cutting in Singapore back in December. What an honor to go from joining our company six years ago to being part of something so epic and being able to help people in so many ways to change their lives. It feels so good to me. And then there's my wonderful and very handsome husband, Lee Green, um, who is the anchor. He's the like, let's make sure all things are steady. And I'm like effervescent champagne bubbling. And you know what? It's not a certain type of person that coaches. It's the person that decides they're going to coach. We have such an amazing variety of coaches in our um, Optavia culture. And I love that we're inclusive. We're for everybody. And as you go on your journey, I don't know what's important to you, but I know what's important to me is to do new things and have new experiences. And I put this picture in there of me scuba diving because Lee and I did that a few years ago. You know, I was at my healthy weight, as you guys can see here. And so I was able to do things um, even more and more. Not that you can't do them before, but they're just more fun, I think, for sure. And I'm a swimmer, but I've always been afraid of, um, of the water being underneath it besides um, snorkeling. And so it's conquering fears in your life and doing things that you wanna do that are new. And I would love for you before you go to bed tonight um, that you write down some of the things in your life that are important to you, things that you really want to do. Um, what matters most to you? And what are things that you would love to experience? What are memories you would love to make? Write those down. Those could become things that you work towards, that you get to create in your life because you are the dominant force in your life. And coaching is so cool because it's a progressive growth model in Optavia. I wasn't actually interested in selling anything. And I was so excited as we went on the journey to know. And I did join the coach agreement like four months after we started coaching. I was still working in that other career. And I decided to just walk away from that at that point. You know, you guys can see here, it was such an amazing thing for me to make that decision when I did because I was running towards something greater. And I loved our model. I loved that as a coach, you could become a business coach and a business leader. And we weren't selling things, we're providing a service to mankind. And I love that someone was going to guide me through the process that we had that model that Dr. Ray created, which was really about transferring the skill. Sometimes you'll hear it referenced as like more like an apprentice style of training, um, where you're actually learning with someone showing you the way, just like we do with our clients. We're the guide. So you have a guide to guide you through the steps in coaching. You are not alone. And it's really fun. And so you guys, as we're wrapping up today, I think we're coming up. Let me see. Oh, two minutes left. We're right on time. Hasn't it been great? I want to challenge you now with some action steps. All right. Because without action, nothing changes. You have to make a decision and then you have to identify what you really want and make a decision to go for it and then come back to where you are and get into action to go towards it. And so today I want to give you the action step to reach out to the person who invited you to this community time. And you know what I want to say is if you're already a coach, reach out to them too and just thank them. You know, if you're a client, do that too. And if you're a guest, definitely reach out to them and make the decision to incorporate the four components, whoever you are, incorporate it at a higher level to reach your desired outcome, your heart's desires, your goals. What really is magnetically pulling you? What do you want more of in your life? Reach out and um, make that decision and let them know I'm making the decision. I want to incorporate those four components and I want to go on my own journey and then jump in all in to all that Optavia has to offer. So guys, I have loved every second of being with you tonight. Um, did you notice the sun went down and this day is over? And I think from today, I didn't check this morning, but I think it's 100 days left of this year. Where are you going to be on New Year's Eve? What are you going to be toasting? What are you going to be cheering success to in your life? You have the power and we have the tools to show you how, and you can create anything that your heart desires um, by just starting the journey. That's the first step. So guys, before we go, I want to thank you for being with me and I can't wait to see um, your transformation. Who knows? Maybe you'll be speaking on this call soon. And I want to invite you to come back um, next week. But before I do, let's take one more poll. All right. Has this presentation motivated you to take action? Um, and improve your health. Yes, I'm super excited. I'm motivated to take action towards my health goals. 
Yes, but I'm not sure where to start. No, I'm not ready to take action to improve my health right now. <laughs> and that's okay. Wherever you are is where you are. Okay, and acknowledging and knowing that is the first step. All right, so that's our final poll. And I wanna invite you to come back next week. Um, but before I do, I wanna say, please consider joining our mission, um, which is lifelong transformation, one healthy habit at a time. And as we do, we're gonna help the world create health and well-being. All right, you guys. So I love being with you again. Come and see us next week um, for Element 20. We are on a path to finish the life of elements in this 2020, in this year of so much change. We're doing it. Next week will be Patty Glick, my very good friend. She's very dynamic and an amazing teacher. She's going to teach you about something important right now with all the health challenges people are having, maximizing your anti-inflammation protection. All right, perfect timing for this element. And then I just want you guys to have a little snapshot. You can see here, we have a quarter schedule. We're not flying by the seat of our pants. We are pros and we are gonna deliver all the way through um, December 30th. And we will finish up this year, walking through these steps all the way to element 26. So I think we're right on time. Um, I wanna say bless you, blessings on you, and uh, an invitation for you to take it to the next level and live your best life. All right, Charlene Green signing off, and thank you so much for being with us. It's been a pleasure. Bye, everybody. At Optavia, our mission is to offer the world lifelong transformation, one healthy habit at a time. The prior audio contained the personal testimonials of independent coaches and clients within the Optavia community. Their results are based on the unique experiences of their journey. We cannot guarantee like or similar outcomes. We hope those stories inspire you to continue your journey with or to consider joining Optavia. But please note that they have not been verified and your individual journey to optimal health will vary. As always, it is our recommendation that you speak with a healthcare provider in the U.S. or a doctor in Singapore and Hong Kong prior to beginning your journey with Optavia. Additionally, this audio may have contained income or earning representations of some independent Optavia coaches. We cannot guarantee financial success. Success with Optavia is derived from successful sales efforts, which require hard work, diligence, skill, persistence, competence, and leadership. Optavia acknowledges that this audio may be accessible to Optavia coaches in the U.S., Hong Kong, and Singapore. For independent Optavia coaches operating in the U.S., please see the Optavia Income Disclosure Statement for statistics on actual earnings of U.S. coaches under the U.S. Compensation Plan. Please note that the Income Disclosure Statement only applies to independent Optavia coaches operating in the U.S. under the U.S. Compensation Plan and does not in any way constitute any representations as to actual or potential approval of benefits for Hong Kong or Singapore coaches under the International Compensation Plan. Yours in health, the Octavia team.